outward from the camera's current position. Plus the camera controls from a third person perspective at all times looking in any direction orbits the camera around the focal point directly in front of the camera. Modern controls recommended. Sure bro, fine. Camera translation mode, like between always uh, being able to move the camera or needing to first engage the camera. The camera is set to always active, unit ability hotkeys are unavailable. The auto keys always move the camera regardless of this option. Camera input always moves the camera, ability button hotkeys disabled. Ah, oh, I see, alright. Kind of big, yeah. Send the right click and then WSD. An interesting combination. Oh, fine, I guess. Campaign tutorial on choose content, then settings. Uh, all right, fine. Sure. There it is. Um, the objectives to advance review. Objectives. Missions may require multiple objectives to be accomplished, either linearly or concurrently. Situational awareness is key for control over the battlefield. Camera lucrative. Uh, the camera camera must be engaged by pressing holding. If using modern controls, camera will look around. All right. Practice rotating your view. Rotate your view to get a better angle of the mission area. Center the view on the mothership. Now rotate to look at the asteroid bay. Please command. Sure. And now rotate your view to look at the friendly carrier. Next is moving your view. Attempt this now. All right, sure. Shift to increase camera movement speed. All right. Piston. Hotkeys with the people are kind of nice to have, though, we'll see. Viewport to view uh, the asteroid bay. Um, I mean, like this. Finally, adjust the height of your view to gain or reduce elevation in the mission area. Attempt to gain a close view of the Allied carrier above now. Let's zoom uh, forward and back. What are they using modern camera controls? Zoom in pit will translate the camera forward and backward infinitely. Colossal camera controls zoom has a maximum minimum distance array. Right. The zoom command can accomplish the same task, albeit more easily. Try this now. At any time, the mothership can be quickly returned to via a dedicated command. Try this now. A box space. Provide production unit preferring the mothership. F4 to select all military units and fleet. Cycle camera between all production capable uh, units. Kind of convenient. A box space, not that super, but I guess. Space, yeah, entire keyboard there, yeah. Click, well, I mean, within in this kind of games, I remember back then it was also controls were like quite something there. Yeah? Clicking on the, the button at the lower center of the HUD will toggle it the sensors manager view. The manager view is a streamlined visualization of the array operations. Surface details are simplified, color gamut is restricted, and units are viewed as a class icons and provides a broad overview of an entire area, allowing macro decisions to be made easily. It's kinda cool. The sensors manager is critical for quickly surveying the entire mission area all at once. Good. The direction of critical positions in the mission area will be shown on the sensors gyro. 
a directional gyro. Spherical display located in the lower center of the screen. For locations, the objects are indicated by arrows that appear on the surface of the directional gyrosphere. When boost and rotate sphere and the arrows remain locked to the environment's orientation. Three types of indicator arrows. Combat indicators are read by default. Points towards a combat zone. Combat zones are where units are allied. The units have engaged hostile units. Objective markers are yellow by default and point towards any active objective marker. Flagship indicator is blue by default and point towards the flagship of the current fleet. This is often the mothership. The first marker shows the direction of the mothership. The second marker points towards objectives sure, I related see it. points of interest. Finally, the last marker indicates the direction of any combat events currently underway. The sensors manager allows you to see the positions of the fleet as well as their line of sight. Orders can also be issued from this view. All units have a sensor's range, their effective sighting radius as a sphere around them. Units outside the range are though. undetectable, and these areas are the dark fields of the sensors manager. All units have differing sensors range. Spreading ships out or building units that specialize in high sensor range can provide crucial information on enemy positions. Resources are highlighted with triangular points of interest. At any time, sure. a tactical pause can be issued. Use this to your advantage to plan or issue orders under high stress or time critical situations. Alright, that's the P. Oh, the speed the gameplay. Yeah, you're gonna use all the fucking keyboard data. Gameplay speed and be adjusted virtually paused at any time during gameplay. Actions are still available, including selecting units, issuing orders, and queuing production. So between current gameplay speed and virtually pause, that press P, adjust the speed at P and scroll wheel. In 25% increments. Alright, that's kind of nice. A portable allow. Motion blur, done so a game or let's see where we'll go with the frame limiter there. Note that while paused, units cannot react to orders. Likewise, objectives cannot be completed. Operation speed can be reduced by intervals of 25% using the dedicated command. Try this now. Data. Before beginning operations, we will focus on the mothership. A right alt and the AF. Alright. Focus camera selected objects. Focusing on the already focused object brings the camera in closer. Alt left click on an object to focus camera on it without changing the current selection. Performing this action on terrain moves the camera to the terrain. This can be done with a dedicated command to enter a focused view. Try this now. When ships have been focused on, your view will be set to orbit around the subject. Attempt to orbit your view around the mothership with it in focus. Yes. Your view can also be zoomed in and out from the subject. Try this now. Now for commands. All unit operations begin by designating a unit to issue orders to. Mainly select the unit and left click directly. Or it's a tactical class icon or press and hold and drag cursor create a box. Uh, when the uh, left mouse button is released, any units inside the bounds of the box will become selected. So and hold left shift or uh, shift right shift uh, when selecting a unit to add it to current selection. Instead of replacing the current selection. Double click on the unit select button screen units of that type. Alright, classics. Clear the current selection, either left click empty space, create an empty bend a box, or a press escape. 
Selecting multiple units, military priority is active. If potential selection includes both military and non-military units, only the military units will be selected. That's cool. Start by selecting the resource controller. The light faction. The light faction controller abilities have like a lot of kind of like cool, um, like economical and other stuff. Yeah, they kind of feel a little more useful. Uh, the darkness stuff, they actually have like the Blood Moon or whatever, that was like pretty strong AoE buff on the old map. And the shadows also were kinda nice with the dead buff especially. Like I basically just won the game by like sending a shitload of dogs eh, and uh, summon shadows and then activating Blood Moon, they just destroyed stuff. Select the resource controller. Yeah, 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 sure bro. Send your message. Not all ships are combat vessels, but each class of ship has a unique role, function, and set of abilities. The mothership is a slow but well-armored shipyard, capable of fending off rudimentary threats on its own. The resource controller's resource ability is used to harvest resource units, RUs, primarily from resource patches found in asteroids or structural debris. These additional units for uh, the fleet our research uh, new technology to enhance the existing fleet, the resources are required. Then. Sources can be found in asteroids, in containers, or on the surface of ancient megalithic structures. Um, harvest resources, select resource controller, then click on press hotkey for a resource ability button to have uh, the resource controller automatically search for and harvest resources. Right click, alright, the usual stuff. With the resource controller Inside the mothership there. A resource operation. These RUs will be used in further ship production and research. Additional resource controllers allow the collection of RUs from multiple resource sites at the same time. Resource controllers are unarmed and should be protected. While very vulnerable, they have several additional uses, including recovering mission vital objectives in the AO, and in some circumstances, even capturing enemy ships. Copy. Growing the fleet is essential for every operation. Some units and their abilities that require research before they can be produced or used. Then, research can be done via the build management panel. Hovering the cursor over an entry will display research prerequisites, if any. So, B or click the build and research button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now, click on the upgrade button next to either unit or unit category to expand or collapse the research available for that unit or unit class. Open the build and research command interface to begin unit production. In some instances, technology must be researched before production can begin. Recon strike craft are now available. Research in order to produce a small contingent of ships for the fleet. Oh, shit, so hello. Welcome back to the dungeon. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Now that the technology is available, the fleet can be reinforced. Produce units to grow the fleet or improve to improve the ability to respond to the type and scope of engagements. You click build and research button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Left click on an entry or to either begin researching or production of a unit. Shift to queue a bunch. Middle must bot research or production of an in progress item. Now right click uh, to cancel research or production of an in progress item. All right, unit categories can be expanded, collapsed right, by clicking on them. Let's see. Just appreciating some animations there. Multiple ones, I guess. Ten. Mm. 
Yeah, I guess. I was giving Swole Guy's life. We'll need a contingent of recon strike craft. Military units can be selected for orders like non military ones, but all military units can be selected at once through the dedicated command. Try this now. Move the contingent of recon ships to the marked point to scout beyond our position. That may be better. You should move into order. Select at least one unit capable of moving. Right click on the surface to use move into order in that location. Alternatively, cl uh, click or on or press the hot key on the movement ability button. In empty space to activate the movement uh, disk. The movement disk active and move at the mouse to indicate how far the unit should move. Eh? Press and hold a left click. And drag the mouse to adjust the height of the destination, then tap. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be quite the controls there. The movement order, cancel yeah, the movement order and deactivate the movement disk. Uh, either press escape or right click. Our units can take advantage of terrain as a shield against oncoming threats. During combat, pilots will attempt to take advantage of whatever cover is nearby. But giving them path directions that take advantage of cover can be paramount to mission success. Coordinates locked in. Units can also be directed to positions out in open space. Move complete. Yeah, problems there. Feeling himself in. One or more hostile targets select the unit capable of attacking. Control lift click and drag the mouse to create an attack bounding box, then release uh, to attack any target inside the bounds of the box. Turn to the select unit capable attack and then type right click on the hostile target to attack the target. You should start with this and then add like you know the five head stuff in. I think not everyone can presence. appreciate such uh, gigi controls there. Alright, hostile presence. Who? There. Some little troop. Push your targets, full burn. Four spins. We're hit. Kinetic fire. Adjusting. You guys attacking stuff? Lock it up. Watch my shot. Is there. They're locked on to us. Rounds incoming. Get him. It's a long reload. Eh? Yeah, the recon guys, I guess, makes sense. Get him. Next. Yeah, 
the last one. Position secured. Ship behavior can also be controlled through formations and stances. Formation organized units into certain shapes or arrangements. Certain formations may be more or less beneficial depending on the task being carried out by the units in the formation. Put units into formation. First, select at least two units, then either left click on the formation button in the selection panel to cycle between available formations, or right click on the formation button, bring up direct selection menu, possible formation, then one day icons. All right. Start a new formation. Formations change how ships align themselves in relation to one another. Formations can affect grouping, ability to focus fire damage, and even vulnerability to certain weapon types. In addition to placing units in formation, behavior can be fine-tuned through stances. Stances affect how units behave, particularly when in formation. <coughs> Change a unit's stance. Uh, first, select uh, at least one unit, then either left click on the stance button, the selection panel to cycle between the three stances, or right click on the stance button to bring up direct selection. Three stances aggressive stance, title, hello, current guys. formation. Oh, shalom. Welcome back to the dungeon. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Doing good, man. Doing good. Doing good. I hope you will too. Be busy. I see you still busy. CSC already, already. Thank you, man. Thank you for the resub. Have a good one. Have a good one. Aggressive stance, Titan current formation. Make no attempt to evade fire. Focus fire on current target. Evasive stance, loosen current formation. Take evasive maneuvers and fire opportunistically on current target. Neutral stance, maintain standard formation spacing. Balance evasion with aggression. Tutorials can be pulled out of there. The usual. Stance influences many factors, including unit formations, attack patterns, and cover usage. That was aggressive. All right, let's go. Allied ships inbound. Push your targets. Full burn. Set. Priority alert. Strike craft suffering heavy losses. So the good, eh? Taking fire. The interceptors coming in. Stay nice. Feels good, huh? Sensor alert. Enemy strike craft. Hostile destroyed. Egan. Transferring command of the Allied Interceptor strike craft to you now. We copy. Your ships have suffered casualties. Replace and reinforce the fleet as resources become available. Units can be quickly repaired by sending them to dock with either the mothership or a carrier. Dock with the carrier now. Interceptor holding. Don't need two interceptors. We're ready. Send message. DC flight on your call. Carcassonne, D.C. Approach vector and base end. You're one in line. Copy that. As mentioned prior, carriers can also build units. Switch to the newly transferred carrier in the build menu to begin unit production from it. To bolster our fleet, build additional interceptors from the carrier now. Pretty false repair there. Yeah? Fiber. 
Ready to copy. Tarayon. Larger ships at the front, smaller towards the rear. Carrier comms open. There is another one you just made, eh? Send transmission. That strike craft was built from the mothership rather than the carrier. Oh. Be certain to designate the carrier from the build panel. Really? Ah, I see. Ah, I see. So I need to switch this way production. All right. While carriers can't build capital ships, they're more mobile than the mothership and can quickly reposition themselves across a battlefield. Send message. Ooh, that's kind of cool, huh? Shows where the other ones are. There's a height. Coming around. And making the controls for this is probably holy shit. Interceptor on station. Bolstering unit numbers is only one way to reinforce the fleet. New abilities for units can also be researched, which will give units extra utility or an edge in battle. Begin researching the ability upgrade for interceptors. Upgrade them. Complete. Forward charge. Yeah. You need to gain temporary damage boost. Putting gigs update for you, so damn son. Oh, probably like the whatever the uh, the chapter is out, I guess. Maybe they started the event already. Actually, I need to get on the grind again. Then interceptor read. Received. Fleet interceptor lead in position and standing by. Can get the horse on green. Eh? Feels bad, man. Oh yeah, I need to download that too then. Uh right, my mouse had build the research, yes, I know. My mouse kinda said no and left. It actually did, eh? Once researched, the technology is made available for all units it applies to. Most units will not use their abilities automatically and must oh, there receive it is. direct orders. With good timing, this can turn the tide of an operation. Test the newly researched ability now. Good. The ability will be active for a short period of time before going on cooldown. Using unit abilities frequently will give you an advantage in battle. The next location will allow units to take advantage of the tunnel to navigate, shielding them in the event of oncoming fire. Direct the contingent to the target position. Vector set. Ready to copy. Coordinates locked in. Move complete. Interceptor holding. Putting gigs of horse textures. Force and shaken. A beyond tunnel. You guys, where are you going? Recon on location. Interceptor reads. Green line confirmed. Yeah, copy. Flight is on station. We're ready. Interceptor on station. Go in. Understood. Moving now. Move complete. 
copy. Move through the tunnel to the marked position. Location secured. No hostile detected. Move the contingent of recon ships to the designated area above to gain cover and a vantage point. So I right. can just click it. That's also nice. Receiving. Vector set on route. Hostiles are intercepting a friendly carrier. We must provide aid. Attack the enemies now. Probably want to focus those, eh? Adjusting. Contact. The combat effectiveness of an engagement force is often directly proportional to its ship composition, size, and ability to focus fire on an enemy. Cannon fire and missiles travel through real space and will collide with obstacles. Positioning ships behind large objects or behind other larger ships, such as the mothership, can significantly blunt the effect of certain enemy assaults. Torpedoes away. Tracking hostile frigate. They're firing. And they blow. We have contact. Enemy frigate. Break, break. Sorry. Thank you guys, thank you. Combat operation successful. It's pulling out of We have now practiced all the techniques necessary for our main operations. You may exit basic combat training or remain for instructions on more advanced operations. Advanced operations. Sure. Such as movement directives can be queued. Ships will carry out these orders in sequence. Though orders such as attacking or using special abilities will prevent further orders from queuing. Queue several orders now. Yeah, where are we queuing exactly? Doesn't matter. Come on. Yes, yeah. Control groups that I already did. Um. Assign one or more ships to a control group. Once assigned, a control group can be quickly found across the battlefield and can be useful while attempting to manage several different battles at once. A ship can even belong to several control groups for very fine control over the fleet. Some ships are capable of laying mines. Providing support via area denial. Uh, the mine lane. Laid in open space instead of uh, upon the surface. So once lead proximity sensors automatically detonate if a hostile target is detected nearby. Laid in one of the three unique patterns. Uh, the box and the sphere patterns result in mines laid in a cluster around designated target point. The wall pattern results in mines lead in a planner wall and created from the ship's starting position and a designated target point. To lay mines, activate the ability of the relevant shape to lay mines in, then select target point using the movement disk. 
in the case of a wall pattern, uh, the distance and height the difference uh, relative to the selected unit determines the area of the pattern. Mines have a limited lifespan. Once lead mines will remain armed and active for a few minutes. After this time is up, the mine auto detonates regardless of whether there are any hostile targets nearby. Interceptor holding. And he is. Uh, Alright, let's see sphere. We hear you. Lay a group of mines. Using any of the available patterns. It takes time to lay mines. Mm. If a ship laying mines is interrupted at any point, any existing mines will be active, but the shape may not have full coverage. Ensure mine laying ships have enough time to allow for full pattern coverage. In some situations, persistent area denial or defense of a certain position is crucial for victory. Kind okay, of nice. Let's see. They'll get you. They'll get you. Turrets used as a more permanent and autonomous means of defending or denying an area. Turrets begin undeployed. I'm capable of moving but otherwise defenseless. Deploying turrets activate their weaponry but mobilizes them. Deploy a turret they should deploy over their solid surface, free of nearby objects or other obstructions. And turret will automatically move to and attach to the target location. Turrets can only be deployed to a solid surface, cannot be deployed in open space. Can be redeployed without first deploy undeploying them if desired. Simply you should deploy order to a new location. Turrets can also be undeployed manually. Multiple turrets can also be deployed in rapid succession. To do this, press and hold the ability hotkey. I'll then left click multiple times while uh, keeping the ability hotkey uh, depressed. Then why would you keep the, the hotkey depressed? Good God, man. Yeah, what did it do to you? There's, there's all the mines there. Right, deploying anywhere. No, designate target location. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right, fine. Uh, deep deploy turret. any type of turret to a nearby solid surface. Solid surface, you say. All right, sure. Turrets can be redeployed without first undeploying them if desired. Simply issue a deploy order to a new location. Okay, deep towards enemies. I'm not sure you will be able to deep, though. Allowing groups of turrets to quickly secure one or more locations. Multiple turret types exist. I don't think you'll be able to deep the asteroids, yeah. to the situation and goals of the mission. Congratulations. We've now reviewed all techniques required for effective fleet management. Initiate hyperspace. Off we go. Off we go. At the War Games demo. Oh, also multiplayer and stuff, I guess. All right, custom. Before the AI is also like dead. Games demo is a nation designed to test the rising commanders. The Union fleet have been stranded deep in enemy territory to get a mass battle from an anomalous region back to Higuran space. 
The carrier fleet must complete objectives and escape in the face of escalating challenges. Speed is of the essence as enemy resistance always rising. Powerful artifacts. Each artifact discovery allows you to choose a one of a three upgrades for your fleet. Artifacts obtained by completing objectives. Additional artifacts can be recovered from wreckage found in mission areas. For each session, you learn XP based on your performance. With enough XP, you'll level up, unlocking new starting fleets and artifacts. Allowing you to try different builds, mechanics, and strategies. It's kind of like the roguelike, basically. All right. Alone in this exercise, be sure to communicate key areas. Enemies are objectives to your allies with the ping system by pressing all right, all right. Uh, counter click. Yeah, the seems solo probably is not that poor, yeah. I guess. Solo versus nobody, yeah. I mean, let's try. Then it's not like we have a lot of fleets, probably. Yeah, unlocked level 3. There's really no AI, yeah. Can't, can't add the AI to your side, eh? Huh? Expected secure resources. Forces incoming. They are pushing further into friendly space. Hagar in command suspects there is an incarnate base within this sector. Engage multiplayer them will be pretty much. Operations. We must find and destroy this base. Seems like it kind of is. Uh, enemy forces arriving shortly. Begin resourcing operations immediately. Command will send an objective soon. Boss, come in. That's not rain on the hull. So we upgrade them. Eh? Mouse cap the capture ship coordinator for research controller. Oh, shit. Line them up. Tracking hostiles. Copy that. Engage hostile Incoming hyperspace signatures detected. Ready for attack. Yeah, yeah, I copy you. Set. Copy. On our way. Give me the resources. Version point. All right, research is with Honor Danina. Just farm the resources. Fleet, interceptor lead. In position and standing by. A real gun. Get a couple of maybe. Oh, we need to research first, of course. Can I start building? Okay, good, huh? Combat alert. Ready to copy. Go with message. Cycle time. Carrier engage. Engage enemy strike craft. Closing fast. No evasive. Kinetic fire. All right. Get him. A remnant of the fifth fleet has been found. We need to scan the wreckage for data and life signs. Keep the area clear of enemy vessels until salvage operations are complete. Time to go. Reposition on mark. Marked. Vectoring in. Fine. Contact. Enemy strike craft. Green line confirmed. Corvette in sight. Shifting to engage. Get him. Recon overburden. 
temporary speed boost. Let's get him. No resources gone. Oh yeah, I forgot we do have the the super pause mode, eh? which I assume doesn't load, doesn't work on this because it's kind of like supposed to be multiplayer, right? I guess. Moving on target. I guess. the firepower of the bomber cloak research probably don't need for now some free gates maybe support repair damage from the ships all right sounds good now Too much in there. Holy shit, alright. Focus fire on hostile Corvette. Maintain range. Corvette is off the board. That was unlocking. For this, we needed to prepare a bigger Corvette. army there. Probably. Securing our area from hostilities didn't go that well there. I want the three player co-op missions with roguelike inspiration, yeah. Seems like it, seems like it. Well, for rip this guy. Oh, lucky. You know, there's a whole bunch of them there. No. Uh, bonk. I want to find artifacts and stuff there too. Yeah, it seems like kind of something more you probably do in the co-op cool there now, all right. I am not a huge fan that like a lot of RTS has got this like the multiplayer fiesta to go and all on the time. Just do like a couple of campaign missions or something, and that would be fine. Why do you always need that? Go co-op, go well at least, least co-op is kind of alright, fine, I guess. Actually, I think skirmish would be the uh, better. Kind of like Godsworn did it. When AI works, because not all of them have AI working. 
sadly. Well, at least the tutorial was quite the uh, quite quite the mission, though. It's gonna be tricky with all the um, with all the controls and stuff. Fine, let's try. Try one more. Those are some big boys there, though. Actually, um, quite the big boys. Um. Incarnate forces incoming. They are pushing further into friendly space. Higar in command suspects there is an incarnate base within this sector. Engage hostile forces and plot a route to their base of operations. We must find and destroy this base. Threat detected. Enemy strike. Enemy forces arriving shortly. Begin resourcing operations immediately. Command will send an objective soon. Receiving. All right. Yes, Confusing the return. It is quite something. It is quite something indeed, huh? Space signatures detected. Ready for attack. Get so many beerism. You big the one. That it could be, that it could be. Multiple ones at the, at the same time, okay. Hmm. Different types of ships at the same time. Go for bomber. Cycle target, come around. Enemy Corvette closing, please advise. Corvette in sight. Shifting to engage. Update to fleet as follows. Controller in the send message. Hostile strike craft on intercept. Requesting support. Receiving. When the intercept filters are taking a beating. Request to review of controller maintenance. SOP is based on the last call. Heading confirmed. Adjust. Controller across the board related to the site. A civilian convoy has been attacked and scattered throughout the area. Locate and rescue all civilian vessels. Please, that's good, huh? Transmit. Bomber flight ready to copy figures. Coordinates marked. Reposition. I get the Giga Fleece then, sure. Controller here. Go ahead. We have conflict. 
Carrier, contact. Hostile Corvette. Fire. Corvette target set. Maintain range. Caution alert. Hostile Corvette in range. Firing. Acknowledged. New contact. Strike craft within minimum. Carrier is in. Engaging strike craft. Move to ex strike craft sight. Don't let them close range. Strike craft firing on. Reset for target spec. Targeting strike craft. Carrier holding position on mark. Alert. Tracking strike craft. Carrier engaging enemy strike craft. Strike craft are pushing in. Take them out. Closing on strike craft. Are you going that far though? These guys. They just like captured way too much stuff in the in the targeting there. Send transmission. No 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 no. Get the resources. Go away. I'm still risking these guys though. Farming, do you know? This is too well, so and too much scuff there. And too much scuff. Is it too much scuff? Capturing, do you know? Command carrier in position and standing. Voice form in. Understood. Corvette in sight. Engage. Attacking enemy Corvette. Closing fast and heavy. Corvette destroyed. Look. Understood. Here is another one. Poof. Here. Combat alert. Target enemy Corvette. Might have confirmed. One hostile Corvette. Enemy Corvette engaging target. Confirmed. Yeah, support the boys, huh? Clear 
There we go. Confirmed. Receiving. Confirmed. Carriers on the move. Yes, he's here. Yes, sir. In contact with enemy strike craft. Contact. Enemy Corvette in range. Taking heavy damage. Fleet carrier. Contact. Enemy Corvette is closed range. Confirmed. Contact warning. Enemy strike craft on intercept. Understood. ROE set. Strike craft have us on lock. That's going to be a problem. All stations alert. Engaging enemy strike craft. Contact Corvette has us in sight. Understood. Will X. Yeah, guys, it's forward. I wish you guys would. Uh, our resource yeah. controllers. Objective complete. New enemies will continue to arrive until you decide to move on to the next mission. Ah. Need your life. Oh god, I just need to keep pumping stuff all the time. Let's see. 